Reese's Muscles in Red Pepper Sauce. This will be a treat. Now, over the last few weeks, I've been trying things like clams and smoked oysters. I'm familiar with all those. They all seem very similar to each other, but the diff there is some differences. Mussels and clams can be found in fresh water, and they have the nice uniform shells, but they can also be found in salt water. Smoked oysters, or oysters, are only found in salt water. And I think oysters are more commonly known as those, the food that you serve on the shell, and some people eat them raw. I haven't got to that level yet, but I did discover some weeks ago when I was on a trip down south, I had fried oysters for the first time ever. Wow. They don't look very good, but they sure tasted good. I'm sold on oysters now, but that's a whole different level of videos. Today, we're going to go with these mussels and see how they taste. Now, these are not just regular mussels because, as you see, they are in red pepper sauce. Pretty heavy. Doesn't say that they're babies or any particular size like the other cans that I've tried. Nothing special on the back, just says ingredients, mussels, sunflower oil. It doesn't even say shell fragments. So I can't make that joke. All right, we're just going to jump in and see what's in here. Well, there's a surprise. Look at that. The tin is upside down. I wonder if there's a reason for that. I don't know. And it's football shaped, not rectangular. Interesting. Nothing unusual other than that. I like it. Well, let's see how it pops open. No sound of air going in or out. It takes a bit of effort, though. Oh, my. We've had a failure here. Taking every precaution because just one little drop of that stuff gets on something that's there for a while. Hmm. This is really, oh man, this is taking some effort. I think I'm going to just uh, hold off right there, and we are going to empty the oil from this one. All right, we're going to empty the oil out for safety's sake here. Give it back and forth and allows the oil to, that might be caught somewhere to get out. Hmm. All right. <coughs> Ooh, <clears throat> that's got a really strong smell. Now, you notice these things have this black little edge around there. And I think that's where they actually open up when the clamshell opens, that allows whatever happens, <laughs> that allows whatever they do with filter feeding, I think, to operate.
There's the oil that came out. Actually pretty clean stuff, but red tinted from whatever the hot sauce is that's in there. Well, I'll see if I can get this top the rest of the way off. You gotta be really careful when you pull something like this off because if you get your fingers in the way, that steel edge is really sharp and not good that I gotta pull so hard. That's probably good enough to just leave it as is, but I do wanna get a better picture of it here for everybody. Dispose of that properly. Yeah, they look pretty cool. Rather glossy little jewels. Very appetizing. Much more colorful than smoked oysters. I don't care for the smell. It doesn't smell like the usual wild organy meat, but it does have this sour spice that leads me to believe we're covering up something. Not a fan. They're mushy. And as soon as I bite down on them, they disperse like it's some kind of a tomatoey paste that I'm eating. Nope, not a fan. I can't really detect any kind of smoke because it's not smoked, it's red pepper sauce. I do taste the red pepper sauce and it's not hot, but I'll give it another try, but I'm not sure. Nope, I'm done. This one's not doing it for me. You can't win them all. I gotta think if these were smoked, it would add some toughness. They wouldn't be such a squishy texture, but to eat them cooked in some type of sauce, this time didn't do it for me but don't let that turn you off or dissuade you give them a try yourself you might just love them thanks for watching